How do we save lives? How do we save our youth? In the Bible, God has always used a man or a woman who has been through trials and tribulations. Who else would he use? God formed this man who has gone through so much that he may be humble and faithful to his servants. Robert A. Harris Sr. is the president and CEO of the Youth Prison Prevention Project. This program comes from a passion to prevent the youth from going down the path of crime, drugs, jail, a corrupt system by revealing the booby traps of the streets to the youth and their parents in our community. Robert A. Harris is a youth mentor, a prisoner reentry mentor, a group facilitator for substance abuse, anger management, and parenting workshops. He has also been a housing manager at a halfway house for men reentering society from prison. Speaking with authority from the streets to the criminal justice system, to becoming a pillar of the community, Mr. Harris draws from real life experience and not just from textbook theory. Hi, I'm Robert A. Harris Sr., President and CEO of the Youth Prison Prevention Project. Our goal is to reveal the booby traps of the streets and the governmental system to the youth and their parents. I feel so very fortunate to have the backing of organizations like Macy's and AT&T, as well as the Buffalo City Council and the Erie County Legislator especially considering where I came from. I feel even more fortunate that young lives are being saved by this program. Actual hardcore gang members are turning their lives around and we have over 30 youth under our tutelage. We give the youth an actual voice in the media through our own television show and newspaper column. We also give them performance experience through various live shows. In 2011 alone, our group performed over 40 performances, produced three full-length CDs, and participated in the Budget Cuts Rally and the Stop Bullying Campaign. I am looking forward to coming to your local church school, and community agency to share this message and very useful solutions to the real issues of our youth and families, especially our young men. men.